sad day for us toxicity members, and I'll tell you why. Now, we did this, uh, well, mod, and yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna get any sympathy from any GTA 5 players now. They're gonna be like, why didn't you do anything legitimately? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? What are you, you, you? Well, look, listen, you know, for Laser Gaming and some other GTA 5 players, I give them so much respect. Okay, they honestly pay or they play for all their cash. Okay, now I give them all the respect out there. They can hate on me and other toxicity members, but I'll still give them respect because you know they do everything legitimately. But we did with the time trial mod thingy, Mabobber. Okay, and I'm pretty sure anybody who did the time trial got you know the time trial mod, which was a lot of people because I went on to a lot of public sessions and a lot of people were doing that so did someone report me probably did they just catch me like rockstar catch me most likely now here's the thing when you play gta 5 rockstar really doesn't get any money unless they sell your information like how much time you played to the government or whatever but most companies don't do that because one is illegal and if they do get caught by that by other people well and they're not going to have a good time other than that it's mostly like a you know conspiracy theory and most things that conspiracy theories say aren't true but some of them are real but you know eh. just saying now that we did a time trial hack mod and here's the sad thing about it. What Rockstar does is they make you reset to one. Now, that, in my entire opinion, is bullshit, okay? Yes, we should get punished for doing the mods or the hacks, the time trial hacks, whatever. But, but you know, it's kind of bullshit. Now, why I say that is. Logan, Toxicity Logan, he, he actually paid like $300, $150 to $300 of actual cash in game, okay, and they're getting, t they're, he's, he's gonna get nothing out of that, okay, I have played 150 hours of that game in my life that I'm not going to get back, alright, and to add on everything higher, this has nothing to do with it, and now I'm trying to get sympathy points, but High Res Studio deleted my uh, Smite account for being inactive for three months. All right, so toxicity members aren't having a very good, well, you know, year. End of the year. We had a very good year, but not end of the year. Moral of the story is, do not cheat or use mods. All right. Second thing here we want to say is. Rockstar resetting everything is really stupid. Zero cash, zero experience, zero JP, level one, no apartment, no car, no nothing. We think, and we honestly think, that is so stupid. Please, please think of another punishment, except making players revert back to one. We spend 60 bucks on your game, and some people spend even more than that. But us here at Toxicity want to tell you something. If you really think people are going to spend so much money that they get 30 million in-game cash, then either A, they are a GTA 5 YouTuber and they have to, or B, they're really desperate to try to show off. And here at Toxicity, we don't want to spend that much money. We probably will eventually. Because we're YouTubers. But really, really, J GTA 5 revert back to 1. And right after the new snow thing came around, which is one of the only times, you know, snow actually is endgame is in December. Really, GTA 5? I just want everybody to realize how shitty GTA 5 or Rockstar really is sometimes. <laughs>